First look at the Gigantoraptor. New aberration community creature. And Ark Survival Ascended launch details with a surprise reveal on how long it's been in development. You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So first up, we got a look at the Gigantoraptor, the creature you voted to be. The exclusive one coming to Ragnarok when it joins ARC Survival Ascended in quarter one of 2024. Pretty accurately depicted as per its factual information, known to be the largest oviraptor saw reaching up to 8 meters in length and 2 metric tons in body mass, as documented sporting a full coat of feathers, with a wonder what this giant ground-dwelling bipedal omnivore might have in store for us. Admittedly, this is much larger than I expected it to be, though it's great to see it in all its glory. Certainly a really awesome looking creature, at least in concept form, that I'm looking forward to in-game. Pitched as being perfect for a nursery with its naturally protective nature extending to any egg or newborn, imprinting them with simply a scent, it was further pitched for this to manifest into a rush of adrenaline mother's fury buff allowing to grapple with threats far larger than other animals their size. Of course, early community creature submissions never made their full abilities into fruition though recent ones have certainly ticked the boxes so who knows this could be one of those that does admittedly just looking at this i'm certainly expecting it to move hell to leather and look forward to a dossier by wildcard which we'll probably get maybe even next weekend Wildcard went into further detail regarding the Ark Survival announcements launch and cleared up a few questions. One in particular I think I myself got a bit confused about last weekend and that is this new price that they're dropping ASA at of $39.99 initially at launch followed by a $44.99. 99 price later on a considerable discount of its previous price of 59.99 and especially its initial pitch of 89.97 including all dlc and arc 2 on top though noted and it being the reason for this is it just dropping with the island initially at launch with scorched earth to follow on later in the year well all maps are included in this price so that's the island scorched earth ab extinction gem one and two and all of the three non-canon maps rag val crystal isles lost island and fjorda and you know what whilst the initial reaction of the delay perhaps overshadowed it that price point is certainly a more tastier one to digest including everything every map for arc for this unreal 5 remaster what's worth mentioning however is lead developer jat did confirm that the brand new story dlc that we're going to get at some point that was initially announced when we found out about asa will still be a separate paid for dlc and apparently we might even get two if rumors are true when we get this who knows initially this was announced to drop in quarter four of 2023 with a few people speculating including myself this to be set on a rat prime on the opposite side of earth and extinction but I'd hazard if Scorched Earth is going to be delayed till the end of the year. We won't be seeing this until next year at some point. What's great to see though reconfirmed within this post is mods are going to be available on day one on every platform. Happy days. A lot of people on console are especially awaiting this one in particular. Able to play all of the mods that people have been playing on Steam PC for Arc 1 for a very, very long time. A lot of them hopefully will be updated to Arc Survival Ascended as long as said modder has the capability to bring it to 
the new version of Ark and will be exclusively ran through a separate company, Overwolf. Still quite interesting that they moved from mod.io that initially was meant to be handling this. Nevertheless, a great thing to see confirmed with still some concern on if this will be delayed even further. As I originally mentioned last weekend and a few times before that, I do think this will be pushed back even further with the developers using Unreal Engine 5.2 as their excuse, meaning the engine, this brand new UE5 engine, is forever being updated as we speak and as a result has a knock-on effect to Wildcard, who are catching up with these new additions to the new engine to make sure they bring it out within the best possible version of Unreal 5. And as a result has got me thinking, well, what happens when Unreal Engine 5.3 gets announced? But we'll see. To refresh quickly, it was announced there will be no server transfers at launch and to expect this when Scorched Earth becomes available, with Jat confirming an additional reason as to why. It appears that part of the reasoning behind this transfer change is also owed to the tech related to transfers that they're making significant networking changes to, to have crossplay. Meaning, reading between the lines, it sounds like crossplay won't be a thing at launch. They'll be figuring that out after launch. And also, that must mean that some things like this are still going to be in development after. ASA's initial launch, meaning will it be delayed any further? If they've got things like this they're still working on, maybe it won't be delayed after all and it will actually release in October as stated. Interestingly enough, it turns out that Ark Survival Ascended has been in development for much, much longer than we thought. Big credit to Armin who shared this with me, but in a comment to a video by Aether and Chaos, go check them out actually, I'll leave a link in the description of making cool remixes for tunes for Ark. Somebody left a comment saying, thanks a lot for the awesome remix mate, hope you do one for Ragnarok 2.0 and Arc 2 when they are out, but the less said about Arc 2 at the moment, the better in response, saying they have a new game incoming next year with it, expect new tracks, but also old ones in new epic arrangements, but wouldn't go on to talk about the new maps and went on to say if everything goes as planned, 2.0 is coming in 2022. Unbeknownst to everybody out there, ASA was talked about in early 2021 and nobody knew about it. Whilst the credibility of this person isn't completely there, a Boris Harizanov with the tag Shadow Strider, who does certainly compose many different tunes, there's no affiliation I can find to link Boris to Ark, Ragnarok, Wildcard, or Gareth Coker, so we're going to have to take that on face value. But if that's the case, it was there staring us right in the face, ASA, before we even knew it. And therefore, has been in development for a much longer period than we thought so. And if that's the case, whilst we've only seen in-game 3D models of stuff coming to this so far and no in-game screenshots, perhaps this is much further along than we first thought. Either way, you, me, everyone and their mothers wants to see gameplay of this and we'll still get it, but it'll just be closer to launch, but certainly before we get to purchase the game. Nice middle finger from the community emoji group. Community creature submissions are here and back, people, ladies and gents, boys and girls. We're on aberration this time. Good to see was hoping for it last weekend didn't happen but now this weekend it's all kicking off you can go straight to a place right here this creature submission post i'll leave a link to this in the description where you can post your creature and get it voted and possibly being the final one that actually makes it into asa aberration sadly though very disappointing to see this is still a real world creature submission you have to put in no fantasy based creatures i'm afraid no 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 didn't really understand why they didn't go for that or maybe i do i guess if you just use the term fantasy imagine the wide plethora of things that could be pitched and i guess at least confining it within factual dinosaurs at least limits where the imagination can stretch and how actually capable they are of being put into the game 
Nevertheless, though, I still wish we could have seen a fantasy voted round for Aberration. It's a fitting theme. Aberration is certainly perhaps one of the more fantasy maps that ARK have done. And with already a long list of submissions already posted since the crunch went out last night, you need to get in and get in now, get your posts out there. If you are having any issues, it was mentioned by Dolly. It could be due to you having an early bird rank if you just made an account and sadly whilst it's not optimal it's necessary to combat the spam bots so i guess just try and post as much as you can in the forums until you can get your creature submission in and whilst we're waiting until july the 17th to see what makes the cut this time you got a bit of an evo event on top a bit of two times unofficial all the way up to five times on conquest until monday july the 10th with a shout out to me and our final episode on Ducks beating the Titan Overlord. Big love for that wild card. It was certainly a very tense emotional episode indeed. And I'll leave you with a video by heart. A positive video regarding top 5 biggest changes in Ark Survival Ascended and why it's certainly worth a look in. Appreciating there's certainly some elements that perhaps could create a different style of gameplay from its initial launch until Scorched Earth arrives. Go watch it, link in the description. And comment what you think about this thing, a very giant raptor indeed it is. Look forward to seeing it. Until the next one, my name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.